Okay, I'm going to go through my settings. Um, we're going to start with my compressor. So you'll see the settings there. And I'm going to flip through each of the settings. Now I'll go on to my next effects loop. Next. Preamp. Now my simple delay, which is mono, then my ping pong delay, which is stereo. I always make sure the trails are on in case I switch between programs. The delay trail will get cut off if I don't have that set to on. And then here's my particle verb. All right. And then I set this up to where I can turn my delay, my stereo, and my regular mono delay on and off, plus my particle verb. One thing about this pedal, it's the entire helix, but it only has three foot switches and one expression jack. Now that one jack can be used for like a volume expression pedal or for a dual foot switch which is how I have this set up. I'm going to be using that for two extra buttons so that will give me access to five of my six blocks. Right now one of the blocks that I'm using to save space is an effects loop which is where my tube screamers and pod, which I use for a harmonizer, a low octave, are routed. So let's go over the blocks. There's six blocks in the HX stomp. And I will scroll through these. I have my deluxe compressor, very first in line. Then I have my effects loop. My effects loop has these three effects plus volume inserted. So my effects out goes into my pod, which I use for an octave, then into Tube Screamer 1 and 2, then into my volume, back into my effects return. From there, I go into my preamp. From there, I go into my delay one, which is mono, delay two, which is ping pong, and last thing in the chain is my particle verb, which is like a shimmer type black hole reverb. Now there's only three foot switches on here and six blocks, and there is only one expression pedal input. So the expression pedal can be used with one, like a um, volume type control, or a foot switch that has two buttons. That's what I'm choosing to use. So that gives me an additional two buttons. So in this case, I'm gonna keep my effects loop on all of the time. So I have access now to all of the other five blocks to turn on and off. So let's look here. I have the, the unit itself turning on and off my delay one, ping pong delay two, 
and reverb. And then my foot switch here will turn on and off my compressor and my preamp. Right now I don't have it programmed because I keep those two on all of the time. And this is my acoustic guitar working rig. So from here, I go into a little mixer, or now I'm in the studio, so I don't have it hooked up. But when I play live, I run a microphone for my vocals and I run left and right stereo out of my Helix or my Line 6 HX Stomp into this mixer, into two little powered Mackie monitors. And the engineer front of house can just grab my mix if he wants, tap off of those two Mackie monitors, the output XLRs. Very, very, very simple setup for a simple acoustic gig. And this fits in um, an aluminum uh, briefcase. Perfect little setup. Okay, all right, hope you enjoyed.